The Atlantean Pyramid creates the illusion of realities in time on the Earth plane. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency, Alice Kokhizel. In the Temple of the Crystals the Goddess sits, she whose consciousness creates all and everything from within. Through this crystal matrix a race of evolved humans was born. And when it was time for those souls to once again submerge in the sea of creation to evolve into a new experience the crystals would echo the harmonics and the souls would remember and align for transition. The Atlantean Pyramid has great mythology about an ancient time when man used his gift of intuition and worked with spirit. It tells of priests and priestesses who used massive crystals and walked with giants and strange creatures on the surface of the planet. This pyramid tells of I, Thoth, known as Thoth the Atlantean or Tehuti, who ruled the land of Atlantis for thousands of years known there by many names and descriptions. It is written that before the great civilization of Atlantis fell, I went with my consort and our high priests and priestesses in great spaceships to create a new home and a new civilization. That this place would be the land of Chem, known to you as Egypt. That I, and others from Atlantis, would record and store information in great libraries, in a place to be known as the Halls of Amenti, Amenti, meaning, mankind. Listen now for the echoes of their tones within your mind. And many would search for these records in the quest to remember why they have come here and who they are. And they would feel that they have greater purpose in this timeline and seek to find out what that purpose might be. The Atlantean Pyramid would create tales of the fall of this great civilization as warning to those who would walk the earth at the time of this reading, and humanity would worry about the destruction of its earth home. Fear not as the souls need only remember their way home into the light, for there is no beginning nor is there an end, and I, Thoth the Atlantean, shall now take you to the Pyramid of Atlantis so you may experience all that you are, and you will understand what happened in the game of light versus darkness, and you will remember what you must do. On our journey through the matrix of the pyramids we come upon one that is both vague and fluid in density. The Lemurian Pyramid is one of two pyramids that creates a storyline about a reality that supposedly once existed in third dimension but has evolved into higher frequency. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency, Tekoporima. The Lemurian Pyramid creates the illusions of dimensions or levels of reality. The pyramid can be found in the grid over the region known as the Pacific Ocean. It has sometimes been viewed by passing sailors on long voyages in the open seas. As they move between the portals of their minds and those of reality, they have seen such a pyramid before them. The true nature of this pyramid is to maintain and enforce awareness of higher levels of experience, for if mankind can understand that there is more than just his physical expression he will be in readiness to move to his next level of consciousness believing that his Lemurian ancestors rose to those very heights. Go then out of this pyramid of Lemuria, join forces with those who create this matrix. Understand the nature of higher creation in the sea of celestial evolution. It was here in the area of Tibet that a pyramid was placed in frequency. Those who followed named it the place of Shamhala. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature, Suli. This is the creational pyramid which connects us with our spiritual wisdom and knowledge. It is within this pyramid that spiritual teachings are created based on the needs of each culture as it evolves. And it was my job, as scribe, to see to it that these teachings were recorded through oral traditions, in sacred texts and scrolls, within the energies of crystalline bodies, in stone formations, in hieroglyphs and pictographs, in channeled manuscripts and other art forms. It is in this pyramid that the entities known as spiritual masters and teachers, angels, gods and goddesses, call and spiritual guides, originated. Many souls will have memories of arriving on planet Earth through this pyramid, then taking the form of Tibetan monks. 
It is written that these teachers have secret scrolls hidden away since the dawn on mankind. These teaching can be found within the matrix of this pyramid given in keys at the end of this cycle. Enter now this pyramid where these scrolls await you. Join with the energies of the three creators of this matrix. Read their words. Heed the messages. Then you will know. The Pyramid of Dreams is located in the grids over Australia. The soul who creates through this pyramid is the dream keeper. When souls go to their place of sleep time, it is there that they meet the dream keeper. It is within the energies of this region that the chosen priests and priestesses incarnated to guard and protect the creational knowledge stored within the matrix of dream time. This knowledge is given in symbols during dream time to those ready to access it. Once given, the soul may return to the physical with the ability to move back and forth between realities. And that soul shall understand how to create in dream time and how that creation becomes manifest in the physical. Within his matrix they may select experiences just as they do in their physical time. The dream keeper takes the souls to his matrix of never-ending dreams where anything can happen and usually does. And here the souls can fly and be free. All souls visit the dream keeper and are linked to his matrix by way of their dream experiences. The dream keeper helps them resolve problems and teaches the true nature of their experiences. Some will see this dream time as the true reality for it is as real as anything else within the matrix. A part of all souls remains connected to the matrix and the dream keeper to reconnect over and over the dreamscapes continuing after consciousness returns to the physical body. Before you go to sleep, ask the dream keeper to show you your destiny and awaken your consciousness. The first pyramid is presently located in the grid over the area you call Antarctica, which would be considered a portal to other planetary grid system. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature Exerthanius. The function of this pyramid is to create and guide experiences linked to the comings and goings of extraterrestrial entities who were part of the history of planet Earth. And there were many entities from these faraway worlds that were once part of the story of your planet. Their journeys encoded within the matrix by Exerthanius and his two assistants. Their souls having experience through the energy of this pyramid as those who come from Sirius, Nibiru, Orion, Lyra, the Pleiades, Mars, Andromedia, Arcturus, Vega, Venus, Jupiter, among others familiar to you. And so the storylines would read that these entities came to your planet in great spaceships and interacted with those who lived on the planet, in the water and others below the surface. And there was created a tale of a great spaceship buried beneath a giant lion who serves as a marker and similar stone markers were left on every place created in the heavens which linked to the matrix. The experiences in other worlds are as real as your soul experience at this time on planet Earth. Those souls would carry the memories of these distant worlds often as a truer reality than that which they came here to embrace. And when this book is found, the ice shall melt from this place, revealing starships created by this pyramid, left behind as reminders of their work and interaction on your planet. And the energies of this pyramid shall still be read in the matrix of this total creation and experienced by those who would come to these creational forces for guidance. And Exerthanius shall guide their souls through this geometric matrix so they may remember and join with other expressions of their creation and soulmates shall meet in many worlds and forms, and they shall join in union, then be thrust apart to once again rejoin in other alien forms. There does exist a pyramid above the Arctic whose purpose is balancing the poles of the planetary grid and of consciousness once frozen in time now melting down and shifting on all levels. 
are monarch ice crystal. The keeper of this pyramid is known by the frequency name, Sophia Hokmat, creator of all knowledge and wisdom. Sophia creates an ever-expanding body of knowledge flowing through the consciousness matrix where souls experience that they may study the natural laws of creation, then learn and develop their abilities to think and understand that which is occurring in the realities. For it is in Sophia's matrix that the souls understand the connection of all things to this matrix, to the twelve pyramids, and to the central source that acts as a hub in the center of all of this, the creational energy that gives life to the twelve pyramids, and all that they create as expressions of the geometric design. Within this frozen monolith one understands how our soul is created and how that soul can manifest in many realities at the same time, taking knowledge from the matrix with each experience. Within this pyramid, one can create and access great wisdom by a mere thought. And that thought is linked to all other thoughts which bind the souls together. And that in one nanosecond of your timeline, all information is learned and understood by all. It is now time to travel to the halls of knowledge created within this pyramid of ice and light. You will combine your mind and consciousness with the matrix. Then you will understand all things in your world. There is a pyramid in frequency over the Inca ruins of Machu Picchu. It is linked to the Nazca lines creating a pattern of evolution in design. The soul who creates through this pyramid goes by the frequency, Lubalia. Her consciousness speaks to the people of Earth about a time long ago when ancient travels from the stars descended to the surface creating a landscape in which souls would descend from above to experience later to return to her consciousness through her temple. It is within this pyramid that emotions are experienced ranging from lowest frequency to those of pure light energy. The nature of this pyramid is to keep emotions flowing in that which you experience as formless waves of energy, which shift within each soul from moment to moment. And the souls shall know all ranges of these emotions for they are in the matrix and they have come to experience the gamut of them all. And the souls will place in highest esteem the frequency of light which is creation and contains all emotions in balance. And they will connect it with that part of their being that links to the source of creation, the heart that which expresses what they shall call love and keeps the soul eternal. They shall strive for this place of higher emotion. In so doing, they will experience great suffering which will help them bring forth higher understanding. And the souls will feel torture and torment and love and compassion. And they will place all emotions into words and deeds and great dramas in which they did act and great works shall result in the expression of their emotions guided by the flow of the emotional matrix. And they shall go to this emotional temple within their souls to find answers to riddles of creation. There they will find their answers, not always as their senses have guided. And each soul shall search until it is ready to enter this pyramid. Once entered it will experience all emotions at one time, with understanding far beyond the comprehension of humanity. Each soul shall embrace all emotions within itself. Come with me now to the pyramid of emotion. Let not all fears blind your way. Throw away all concepts of emotion and see the truth in who you are. I will teach you how to find peace and the balance in your soul. The Mayan pyramid is in the grid of time and synchronicity. The keeper of the pyramid is Quetzalcoatl. Within the pyramid, timepieces and symbols are created in accordance with the laws of creation. They are carried throughout the matrix, combining all wisdom and knowledge within their design. They fit together as the gears of synchronicity forming the totality of human experience. In dream time and meditation one moves within the matrix attracting the keys that synchronize with needed experiences. And Quetzalcoatl created encoded keys within his timepieces to guide the souls into higher consciousness. He placed his keys within the matrix to be found by those who were him chosen, so they may teach humanity about the changes that occur at the end of a cycle. And the two souls who assist Quetzalcoatl operate and maintain the keys as they will be found and the information unlocked. Join me now within the halls of this pyramid as there are keys that will return you to your natural state of being.
you will recognize your keys of light. They will open your soul and your consciousness. Quetzalcoatl returns. Darkness emerged from the void moving into the pyramids of consciousness ending as souls cross over the bridges of time, space and illusion. The sacred spirals of geometry guide their journey home. The end of my story takes me to the pyramid over New York City. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency Isis for she is the feminine aspect in all that moves through the matrix. It is she who expresses herself in the form of the Earth Mother. She, who is creator of life and evolution. She who sends energy to the matrix that perpetuates the reality in which souls may manifest. She, who has no permanent form, but that of light. It is she that you knew as Sekhmet and Hathor, among other creational forces. It is she who creates from her pyramid, weaving her creation into the fabric of time. Her energies move through the matrix touching all that is in creation, all that flows through consciousness, all and everything that is both old and new, for they are one and the same. From her pyramid she brings the matrix full surf creator and destroyer all in one. Travel with me to the pyramid of the feminine, she who now returns to planet earth to express herself in the light harmonics of creation.